make that in After Effects using Element 2. Hello everyone, you're welcome to another tutorial. Well, this one is quite interesting because I discovered this two weeks ago and uh, it's quite interesting to me so I decided to let you guys in on it. Without wasting much of our time, let's just go ahead and do it. For this, we're going to be creating a new composition. And we're going to be creating something simple here just to, you know, let you guys know how it's actually done and then you can build it build up you know be creative technically so um, we're gonna be using two shape layers for this and those shape layers can be anything can be logos and you know whatever you want to be creative with but we're gonna be using shape layers for this just to keep things simple um, first of all we're gonna be making a rectangular shape layer we're gonna drag this out more of a square and uh, we're gonna be making another one just click out and we're gonna be making a star shape layer mm, that's good enough and we're gonna make sure that this is uh, all line up uh, at least a little bit uh, now we're gonna be composing each of this shape layer uh, this one is the star so we're going to be renaming this star and we're going to be pre-composing this and this is the square, name this square and pre-compose it. Now um, in order for us to be able to work with this, you know, as you can see they are both um, red. So we're going to be making one of them white so we can see what we're doing. So in order to do that, we're just going to be dropping a tint effect on the star. And I'm going to make this all white. Now we can see both shape clearly. Um, now um, we're going to be making markers for this effect to work. We're going to be going to the third second of this composition and we're gonna make create a marker and we're gonna go to the fifth second also create another marker and these two markers are fairly are okay and this is what we need now what we want to do is we want to make the um, square morph into the star so we're gonna go into the square I'm going to the first marker and we're gonna make a pop a pin. I'm gonna just make random pins, right? We we'll just bring this square up so we we'll see what we're doing. Okay, now we're just gonna create um, some random pins, right? And we're going to move to the fifth, which is the second marker. And now we're going to make sure that we hide the square inside the star. So we'll bring that, bring it down. And we're just going to draw the, draw the pins until until it's hidden okay now if we play this through you can see it just it morphs into the into the star now for the star we're gonna go to the fifth um, which is the second marker on our frame that is where we're going to insert the pins for this random pins click a shop and we're going to move to the first marker and we're going to hide the star inside the rectangle so we'll bring this down and we're just going to hide it Good. This is the base of our moth. So as you can see, if we play this through, 
it just morphs into star right now in order for this to actually work we have to change this uh, red um, square back i have to change it to to white so it is just going to be like the same color so we're just going to copy the tint for the star i'm just going to paste it so as you can see if we play this through looks like it's just mouse into the so this is the effect that we want but for me it's not like dynamic enough so what i like to do is i create a adjustment layer top of the old uh, composition and then i'm gonna insert the fast box blow to this to your composition i'm just gonna make this like four uh, five it's okay and also i'm just gonna insert the simple shulker to this and i'm just gonna make this um six six ish it's okay now it's more fluidy and more dynamic as you can see playing this through now this is uh this is the basis of our morph so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-compose everything plus the adjustment layer now we're gonna be creating a new solid layer and we're gonna be naming this e3d now we're gonna be applying element 3d to this layer now on the element 3d um, options we're gonna go to uh, custom layer we're gonna go to custom textures and mask and um, we're gonna go down to the pre-compose morph layer and then we're gonna go to layer and we're gonna go to auto trace because what we want to do is we want to feed element a mask of this morph right so we're gonna be creating a we're gonna be tracing the edges of this morph with mask and the best way to do that automatically is if we use the auto trace and um i don't know if you notice let's just go back a little bit i don't know if you notice but this is still like an alpha layer there's no background to it so that is what we're going to be using to trace this morph so we're going to click on the morph layer again we're just going to go to auto trace and we're going to make sure that it's in alpha and we're also going to make sure that it is in um walk area and then we're also going to click on apply to new layer so it creates another layer of them with the mask on it so we're going to click ok and we're just going to wait for this to be done okay now it's done and as we can see the mask is just tracing this so now we're going to feed this uh, mask to element 3d i'm going to go to part one uh, part layer one we're going to be selecting this layer that our tracer just made with the mask and we're just going to click um, source um, effect and max now we're going to go into elements and we're going to see that it is working now in order for us to see this we need to go to extrude i'm going to click extrude and boom yeah we are now since we're in element and this is 3d we can now texture it what i like to do is go to bevel this cool and then i'll just choose uh whatever feels right from here let's just go with this okay just let's just extrude this some more and go to the extrude a little bit more extrude a little more extrude a little more uh, and it's better and it's uh, good enough so we're gonna click on ok 
we're gonna hide the auto trace that the auto tracer made auto trace layer that the auto tracer made and we're also gonna be hiding a morph layer now we just have the element 3d and as you can see if i play through it it just morphs and let's just create a, um, a canvas just so we see how 3d this looks and um, what I like to do also, because if you go into the camera and click uh, power for the rotation and orientation, and if you just rotate it, it just moves funny, right? So what I like to do is create a new layer, a new node, rather, and I'm just gonna make this 3D, and I'm just gonna parent uh, the camera to the node. Now, if I rotate this, it rotates the way I want it to right so now let's just make a very simple camera motion i'm going to go to the first frame i'm going to keyframe this i'm just going to move i'm going to move to frame eight and i'm just going to turn this and now when we play this now let's make a new background just to make this a little bit more you know interesting i'm gonna be bringing this down and i'm gonna be applying a ramp gradient ramp to this and i'm gonna be making this radial so about bring this to the middle a little bit drag this out I'm gonna be swapping the colors so we see and then I'm gonna be changing this to a yellowish color just like the ones you see in the preview I made and uh, technically this is the this is the effect and uh, now you can put in your light and make it more interesting like the ones you see on uh, on the on the preview oh, i think it's okay i don't want this tutorial to be that long and that is the whole concept of this please like and subscribe this is a new channel i'm just coming up um if you want more tutorials just like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one peace out